Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. I am traveling right now. I'm in Oklahoma City in my sister's hotel room. I'm visiting her. I really enjoy visiting her on tour, not only because I get to steal her clothing, but because we just have a great time together and we have a lot in common. Today, what I wanna do is share um, my footwear with you. I wanna tell you what I own for shoes and maybe give you a couple ideas of minimalist footwear. So let's get right into it. I own three pairs of footwear, and honestly, I could probably get away with just one pair, but this is kind of what I have, and I'll tell you why I have it. I own a pair of Luna sandals, a pair of Merrill barefoot running shoes, they have the Vibram soles, and a pair of just high tap Converse. Like I said, I could probably do with just one pair of these shoes. I could totally just live with these. I could do everything that I do in just these. I could probably do the same thing with just these, although it's nice to have your feet in the open air. If I really needed to, I could probably do everything I do in just these, although trail running might be kind of hard and climbing trees. So these are the Luna sandals. Luna makes two pairs like this, I think. There's the Mono and the Oso. They're like two different types of soles. And I got the thicker soles. I'm not sure how I feel about these overall. I've had them for, I want to say, a little over a year. There are things I like about them. I, I definitely want to keep owning a pair of sandals like this that you can fully strap your foot into and that you can run in. You can do trail running in these. You can walk, you can run, you can skip hop, you can do anything in them. There are issues with these. I feel like I have to adjust the straps a lot. I feel like the soles are pretty thick. I know some people wear through their soles and it's nice to have the thicker sole because of that. And also like if you were going to run on rough surfaces or like rocks, I do like the thicker sole for that. I know some of the thinner soled sandals that are like this, people have complained that it hurts their feet. So that's a pro. Um, I do like thinner soles in general because I like to feel the feet, uh, the earth beneath my feet a bit more. And again, like I said, I just don't like that I have to keep adjusting these, but I still am a pretty big fan of these sandals. There are other options as well. There's Luna makes, um, thinner soles, like I said, and they also make different straps. So you can have the straps that tie on and you can get them in all different colors. There's also Zero Shoe, which makes a similar, um, a similar shoe to this. And those are with those straps. They look more like shoelace cords. And I think there's probably a couple of other options. And I know that there's even tutorials online to how you can make your own sandals that are like this. So. Overall, I would say having a pair of sandals like this that really holds my foot in completely, I, I really like. My Merrill barefoot running shoes, I love these. Um, I know that there's a lot of minimalist running shoes out there now, and I'm just gonna talk about a couple of the things that I look for in mine. First, I'd like to say that when I switch to these from my previous running shoe, which is just like a New Balance, you know, pretty thick sole, I felt like a ninja. Like I felt like I could do anything because it really feels like you're barefoot in a way compared to having a thick soled running shoe. And I loved that. I love, like I said, feeling the earth underneath me and being able to grip the earth better. I really loved wearing them barefoot. And I did that for about a year. And the only issue was that they were smelling. They just do, and I left them out in the sun, and you know, it, it worked for a period of time, but after a while, they just start to smell. So I do wear these with socks now. These are Vibram soles, and like I said, I know a lot of other brands besides Merrill make shoes that are similar to this. Big things for me are having that flat sole. Um, I really don't like to have the elevated soles. And just for it to feel as close to possible, as close as possible to running and moving in general in my bare feet. Oh, one other thing I really love is I really love to be able to climb things and trees especially. And these shoes are great for that for me. I feel like I can really grip stuff with them. 
The last pair of shoes I own is this um, just Converse high tops, just the black ones, really simple. I love them. I feel like I've been wearing Converse on and off my whole life. My dad wore them when I was growing up. He'd usually wear like one red one and run blue one or something like that. And I think I just have fond memories of them. Again, I love that they have the flat soles. I'm really not into shoes that have any sort of uh, elevated sole. I just find that it messes with my body, my knees, my hips, my legs. I, I just don't like the way it feels. These shoes are great for a number of reasons for me. Um, I can buy them anywhere. It's really easy to replace them and to just simply get the same shoe when they wear out. I feel like they look good with just about anything, or I feel like I can wear them with anything, or I do wear them with anything, I guess I should say. I can walk in them for a really long time. I've even run in them. I don't know if you've ever seen pictures or were alive when uh, basketball players used to play in these, but it's like a real thing, I think, before the whole like crazy shoe, you need special shoe phenomenon came out. A lot of people wore these for athletic activities too. So you can definitely wear them and do a lot of diverse activities with them. I don't always travel with this pair of shoes because I do think that for some of the minimalist travel I do, it's a little excessive. I know I don't need them. It's more of like, I think it is a bit more of a style thing. I like the way they look with different things I'm wearing. But as far as like my active life goes, which I'm mostly just you know, doing things that are pretty active, I don't really need them. So that's what I own for minimalist footwear. I hope it gives you guys some ideas. Like I said, there's a million different options. If there's things that you like in particular, if there's shoes that you really enjoy, share them in the comments section below. I'm sure everyone would love to hear. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll know to share more things like this, um, items that I have in my life. And I just look forward to seeing you guys again soon. So I hope you're enjoying your week. Bye.